All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a platinum card. Now, I am getting her hair prepped and ready for a fashion color, so I need her hair to be super, super blonde. So I wanna show you guys how I do that. This is her after. Now, unfortunately, in the video, it has like some warmth on the bottom from the bricks on the ground casting a warm hue onto the bottom of her hair, so that's why I threw up that before picture so you guys could really see what it looked like. So let's get into this process. I'm using L'Oreal Blonde Studio. This is a multi techniques. I'm doing two different volume developers. I have a 20, I have a 40, and I actually went and mixed up a 10 that you guys don't see on camera. And I added my Monat Rejuvenique oil to this to give it a lot of really great strength, as well as, of course, my Olaplex. Now, since I'm doing foils, I did one eighth of Olaplex in my bowls. So I'm sectioning her hair off into four different quadrants, and I'm starting in the back because the back underneath is the dark she does have about a level six underneath here of just natural color. So I am going in with a higher developer down here to bump up that developer. So what I'm doing is a platinum card is all foil. So I'm laying a foil underneath the hair. I'm doing horizontal sectionings and you guys can see I have my little diagrams up for you guys of course I am taking horizontal sectionings and I'm actually doing a shadow root on her now what I'm doing is I'm applying a lightener from about an inch away from her head all the way down through her ends now depending on your client and what color they have pre-existing in their hair determines what volume developer you're using so on the bottom I'm using a higher developer and then as I work my way up, depending on how bright her levels of blonde are in her hair, determines what level of developer that I'm doing. On kind of like medium blonde color, I'm using 20. And then on some of the brighter blonde, I'm either not putting any lightener on it or I'm using a 10 volume just to bump it a little tiny bit. So... I am also, like I said, doing a shadow root for her, her end color when we go and we put her vivid, like vibrant fashion sh shades in her hair. So if you're doing a full platinum card, you would still want to leave out about a fourth of an inch of hair and then go back after your hair has processed for about 20 minutes and then apply it from the roots if you're wanting a complete platinum from roots to ends. So I'm just going to continue taking small sections. I'm taking about one sixth sections going up my these are going to be smaller sections because you want to make sure that your entire hair is coated because every single hair on her head will be in foils that is what a platinum card is it is all of the hair all in foils so I'm not super folding my foils because it just makes really small packets and because she has long hair it would get poofy and it would cause the lightener to actually squish out onto her scalp and we definitely do not want that so you guys can see I'm not folding the foils I'm just kind of folding them once or twice depending on how long the hair is then when I get to the top section when I finish the two sides I'm actually doing this top section a small triangle you guys can see in the diagram when I get to that very top instead of doing a little teeny tiny baby foils going up the two sections in the back I just kind of combined that top and now I'm doing again a horizontal sectioning just doing the same exact method until we get to the top of that crown section completing our two sections in the back and then you can go and work on the sections in the front so essentially this is like a tiny baby mohawk in the crown area if you are going away from the face. So this just helps to ensure that it's getting it nice and bright in that crown area. And you guys can see where her previous color was lightened to from her highlights. So I'm just kind of feathering that right there to make it a little bit softer so that when we do go and put her fashion color in, it is going to be a really great um, shadow root of her own natural color, which helps clients to feel like they still have somewhat natural color, even if you're putting hot pink on their head. So once I have all of that established in, I'm going to move to the front and you guys can see I have my two side sections and then my tiny top little section in the very top. So now we're going to work on the sides. And again, I'm taking horizontal sectionings, just like you guys see in the diagram and I'm just bringing them straight down. Um, you want to keep in mind that the front has some pretty fragile hair. So we want to be making sure that we're adjusting our developers accordingly and making sure that we're using Olaplex because this is going to help to make sure that her hair is going to stay in the best possible condition that it can. Now, she already has some highlighted pieces. So that's why I'm saying like you have to be careful when you're going and doing these colors, making sure that you're talking to your clients about products, aftercare use, what they're going to be doing 
doing. I'm actually coloring her hair and then having her come back a week later because I am having her do mask treatments for an entire week and just allowing her hair to kind of, you know, the cuticle to harden again and just allow it to get a little bit of um, R and R before we go and do the fashion color. So her cuticle is closed down. So she's not going to lose all of her beautiful fashion colors, um, as soon as she washes her hair. So again, I'm just going to start continuing to go up the head, applying this to her hair. And I like to use again, my Fermar brushes because it creates the feathering process to be so, so easy. No, I'm actually using long foils. I have longer foils for um, when I'm doing people with long hair. So I'm folding it up once. So basically I'm folding the foil in half and then I am folding the sides in the front. That way if I need to rinse the back first, I don't have to worry about these foils getting water in it or anything like that. So this is still not creating the tiny little small packet so I don't have to worry about my lightener squishing up into her roots. But this also just ensures that it kind of just locks it in place. So if you are someone that needs to rinse the back because the back's processed faster, then you can rinse the back and not worry about the front um, foils coming apart and creating a big a gigantor mess. So right here, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that feathering action. So you can see her natural, you can see the highlights, and you can see how I'm just kind of feathering that in there, keeping my brush vertical so that it creates tiny little wisps of color going up in there. So it's not a harsh straight line and then I'm just coloring the rest of the ends in with whatever um, volume developer I'm using for that section of hair. So if your clients have fringe or bangs you definitely want to section those out and do those separately from those horizontal partings. Um, I do have she has like a little bit of a fringe area in the front because she used to have short bangs. She's now doing like the side sweep bang. So I sectioned these out in the front just to keep with what her hair is doing. You want to accommodate your hair of your clients to whatever they they have going on in their hair. So you guys can see I'm just kind of checking the foils, seeing where they're at, making sure I can know what each stage of my previous section was. So what I'm going to do after that is just go get a plastic cap and put this around her foil so that her lightener doesn't get dehydrated. I'm going to put her under the dryer, do no more than medium heat because again, you guys, you guys are doing a platinum card. There's a lot of lifting. There's a lot of chemical process going on. You do have Olaplex and stuff, but you still have to work smart. You can't just be silly and like blast it and think that the hair is going to come up fast. So once you've reached about a level 910, then you are going to take all of the millions of gazillions foils that you have put in your client's hair. And then you're going to rinse everything. You guys can see we got her to a really great bright light color. Rinsing in cool water because once again, the cuticle is very exposed and open right now. We just did a chemical process. So you want to use cool water to rinse it out because it's going to keep the cuticle closed and you're not going to overexpose it. Once you have all of that rinsed out, you guys can see what level we got her up to. She definitely has still a lot of yellow in her hair. So I'm actually going to tone her hair because she's coming back a week later. If I was doing this process right after, like if I was going to go in and put fashion shades right after, I would only tone her hair with a purple shampoo. Because if you use a toner, it does have a little bit of a sealer for the cuticle, which can create patchiness with vivid colors. So if you're doing a fashion color right after a platinum card, use a purple shampoo to tone. But if you are waiting a week, you can use a toner and you don't have to worry about it getting patchy or anything at the end. So I love what this came out to and wait till you guys see what we are going to do for her vibrant fashion shade. That'll be the next video that I post. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned to see that and check out some of my other tutorials.